Okay, now, the top 10 list is finished, but I want to mention some other programs that deserve a mention. A lot of you are wondering out there, well, where is this program? Where is this one? What's he doing? Why isn't he mentioning this program? Like uh, Malwarebytes, for example, um, which is one of the best computer security programs out there, but it didn't make my top 10 list because <clears throat> this is all about free programs, and the free version of Malwarebytes will not protect you from infections. It does not have real-time protection. <coughs> and even though as good as Malwarebytes is as an on-demand scanner, and it is, it is the best, by the way, for an on-demand scanner, without real-time protection, it just can't compare overall to programs that do offer that, in my view. Malwarebytes is a fantastic program, the free version, but um, it doesn't have real-time protection, like I said, so, you know, you can't really include it among the best out there, o free overall, even though a lot of people do. It, it cannot stop infections, and that's a huge uh, uh, factor in my list. Uh, it's only half the game, removing. And now, as far as removing goes, uh, it doesn't come any better than Malware Bytes. Malware Bytes is fantastic. It's about anything it detects, it'll remove. In fact, I've never really heard of it not removing something it's detected. So Malwarebytes is in there. It's a favorite of mine. And I Malwarebytes is actually one of the very few programs I would actually recommend buying. I mean I don't recommend buying too many programs, but I think it's like twenty five bucks and it's for life. Not like these other programs where it's just year by year. This is a lifetime subscription and it is fantastic. It is it is it blends in perfectly with Komodo and Avast it's very unobtrusive, and uh, it, it, it's, it saved my bacon a few times, testing it on uh, a virtual machine, uh, you know, seeing how it stacks up, and it's never let me down. A lot of, a lot of like, malicious links it won't even let me go to because it has a web blocker. So anyway, Malwarebytes is in there, but I just couldn't put it amongst the best free because it won't protect you from infections. Now, another program worth mentioning is Spyware Terminator. Spyware Terminator is one of the very few reliable free anti-spyware programs. It's been around for uh, quite a few years now, about five years or so, and it's really set itself apart amongst free anti-spyware programs because now a lot, lot of these, these uh, security programs incorporate spyware into their, their uh, protection. But this is this is a, an old school program, Spyware Terminator, because it's really a spyware specialty program. Um, the only problem is enabling its hips uh, will slow you down. That's one of the reasons why I stopped using it and decided to buy malware bytes. Is that every time I enabled hips, it w the, the, so the entire computer would just grind to a halt. So its its version of hips is not good at all. But its basic uh, spyware detection removal is very good. You can use it as an on-demand scanner if you turn off the scanners, and I would recommend disabling it from starting up. But, you know, I, I just wouldn't recommend doing that. I just don't like programs that are designed to run in, in uh, real time or designed to start up. I just don't think they're as compatible with other programs as they could be. But you can do that if you want. But if you don't, if you want a specialty anti-spyware program that specializes in spyware, adware, things like that, uh, and you don't want to pay for it, uh, consider Spyware Terminator. It's not a bad program at all. If you learn how to configure it. I used it for a while, and I wasn't too disappointed. But Malwarebytes, I mean, it's not even the same league as Malwarebytes. But Spyware Terminator is in there as well. Another program. Uh, that didn't make the list for the same reason Malware Bytes Free didn't is Super Anti Spyware. Another great uh, on demand scanner, the free version, once again, does not have real time protection, so it will not protect your computer from infections. It's just an on demand scanner. Start it up and update it and let it run. The only problem is when you download it, it wants to run as a startup program. And that makes no sense whatsoever. 
the free version does not have real-time protection, so there's no reason to have it run uh, real-time. As far as updating it, you can do that yourself. There's no reason for a, an on-demand scanner to, to run as a startup program. So you have to disable that. You go into Preferences and uncheck Start with Windows. It doesn't make any sense why they would, but that's the way Super Anti Spyware has always been. Um, it's real time protection if you want to buy the pro version, <clears throat> is good, but nowhere near as good as malware bytes. If you're bound to determine to spend a little money on a good s computer security program, malware bytes would be it. But Super Anti Spyware is an excellent program to have on your computer as an on demand scanner. I, I think every computer should have it. Uh, just like I said, to uh, you know, just one of those backup scanners. You know, if you think you may be infected, or if you've been on some cheesy sites and you know who you are, <laughs> um, open it up, update it, run a scan, see what it says. Um, it'll detect cookies, but you can uh, configure the scan to uh, bypass cookies because you don't really need need it to. You can get rid of them with CCleaner. But anyway, Super Andy Spyware is a great program as well. Here's another program I would recommend having, and this is a relatively new one. It's called Komodo Cleaning, uh, Cleaning Essentials. What this is is basically an on-demand, <coughs> excuse me, an on-demand antivirus scan. That's what I love about this program. It does not have real-time protection so it will not conflict with other antiviruses that you have on there. It will not. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Um, you just open it up, let it update, run a scan, and see what it, it, it uses Komodo's antivirus engine, and it also has other tools in there called Kill Switch, which are basically, um, if you have something running that you don't want to run, or you want to block something, or if something's frozen, like Firefox or Chrome is, is frozen, you want to close them, you can do that with Task Manager, but you can also do that with Kill Switch. But it's a good program to have. I mean, it won't mess up with other programs. Like I said, um, it's an antivirus scanner. That's all it is. But uh, Komodo Cleaning Essentials is a great program to have on your computer. Last but not least, um, I want to mention uh, MCSoft Anti-Malware. Uh, this is a good program to have. There are some downsides to it. Um, it's a nice on-demand scanner to have, but it's slow. It takes forever to update, forever to install, and scans uh, slow you down, and they take a while. But it is a thorough scan, and its um, its removal rate is not as good as the other legit. I mean. It's your elite programs. It'll get most of the stuff, but not nearly as good as malware bytes or super anti spyware. It's a nice program to have on your computer. Um, I've been on and off it here and there. I've used it at times and I've deleted it. I just, you know, once you have malware bytes and super anti spyware and all those, I mean, you're pretty much set. I mean, <laughs> you can have your computer uh, like Fort Knox, but. <laughs> There's only so much, but on-demand scanners, you can actually have unlimited number of those. They're not going to interfere with anything. You can have 50 of them if you want. They're not going to, they don't have real-time protections. So they're not going to conflict, but I just don't think all those are necessary. But if you want an, an extra backup scanner that'll detect a wide range of stuff, which MCSoft Inti Malware does, it, it's, it has a very large database. It always has, but give it a shot if you want. Uh, MCSoft Inti Malware, it is free. So there you have it. The best of the best, uh, according to yours truly. Uh, free computer security programs. Now, the, the, the last uh, word on this uh, I, I want to leave you with is, in my opinion, don't spend big money for computer security programs. In my opinion, it's a waste of money. Yeah, there are some good programs out there. Bitdefender, Kaspersky, Trend Micro is not bad, but I just I think it's a waste of money. 
a lot of these programs give people a false sense of security. They think they're spending big money for these security programs that are all in one, and they, they think, hey, uh, <clears throat> I can do anything I want. I can go on any website, download whatever I want, and no problem. And it's really not true. Uh, the truth is um, no program or no combination of programs can protect you from yourself. If you do enough risky browsing on cheesy sites and even worse, risky downloading, downloading things that you have no idea what they are, uh, believe me, you'll get infected. Uh, it's not a question of if but when. Uh, the best programs in the world cannot protect you from everything. Um, but the ones I mentioned here, especially the elites, Avast, Komodo, um, are, are tremendous at protecting people from, you know, if you go on the internet enough, you're bound to run into some bad sites, you know, even wallpaper sites or screensaver sites, or if you go on <clears throat> porn sites, um, or if you do enough downloading, you're bound to get a bad download. I don't care how good you are, how long you've been around, I mean, it's bound to happen to anybody. And these programs do a tremendous job. Avast, Komodo, I mean, if you use just those two programs, just those two alone, free, totally free, you have better security than probably 95% of computer users out there. Yeah, that's the truth. Most people just use the basic and don't give two shits and a giggle about uh, uh, what's on their computer. You know, it's like uh, health. It's not something people think about until uh, something bad happens. So if you're interested in beefing up your security, uh, you can get these programs and also free programs like Malwarebytes that are damn good at removing anything that may have gotten past the uh, uh, real-time programs like Avast or Komodo, but not much will get past them unless you allow it. It's as simple as that. I mean, uh, com computer security software is kind of like a security guard. <clears throat> uh, it can only if you let that intruder in. If you tell that security guard, hey, let this person in, there's nothing much you can do. And when you download things that you don't know about, that's pretty much what you're doing. You're inviting someone into your home, this home being your computer, and if they have malicious intent, uh, you may be screwed. Uh, programs like Avast and Komodo can only go so far. Any program can only go so far. And if the best computer security out there is you. If you take the time to inform yourself and educate yourself about what to watch, um, <clears throat> how to stay safe, on, safe online, um, things to avoid, what not to do, what to do, um, you should be fine. Uh, so anyway, that's my take on the best free computer programs. Um, one last note, um, in terms of paid programs, <laughs> Stay away from Norton and McAfee, especially. I know those are the two of the most popular, but I used Norton once years ago, and I swore I never would again. I just think they, those two programs alone are a waste of money. Norton and McAfee, just way overrated. They get a lot of media attention, <clears throat> and I personally think, I, I think there's, there's some collusion involved. I can't prove it. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I just think that these are big companies that have a lot of, you know, lobbyists and a lot of pull within the industry and they get a lot of people to say nice things about them that are, are not necessarily so. I don't think they're nearly as good as their reputations say they are. I just think they're overrated crap that are resource hogs and there are free programs like this here that do a hell of a lot better job and a hell of a lot easier and a hell of a lot cheaper. So save your money. Don't buy big expensive programs. Get some of these and you'll be fine. That's me. Out.